Low cost dev. All right, welcome to Internal Dread. This is the first game of the Internal Dread series. The Evers are Internal Dread 2 and Internal Dread 3. Yeah, I did cover Internal Dread 2, and I'm going to revisit the original game. But yeah. Something you'll notice, there's no like uh, difficulty setting like there are in Eternal Dread 2 and 3. And this um, background of the titles or the main menu or tile screen shows the fallen, I believe, men. Let's see, there's so far, yeah, this game only has like four slots. And I believe the first is my original slot. And that's the 18th. I think that was my other slot. And that's my level 99 slot. I probably will overwrite one of these. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start the game. Real is my name. I was once kidnapped by a group of goblin raiders when I was a youngling. When it was by a youngling. Okay. Fortunately, I was rescued by a noble knight. It says rescued. Should be a D there. He inspired me to follow his footsteps and help those in need of help. Alas, the time of peace didn't last. Where elder fiends awoke from their aeon of slumbers, raised a legion of destruction, and attacked human lands without warning. Each like clan bolstered, bolstered their rank. Before long, they became the elder fiends' unsupple tide of death. That brought naught by despair to human across the land. Now before has our race faced such brink of extinction. Now our mind defeated. It's difficult on us for us to survive in our day. You could say that those four elder fiends are now ruling the entire world. And there is Rail. Nevertheless, I decided to join a warrior's guild to learn how to fight. To many, I am still but a functioning last struggling survivor. Yet, yet, I still hope that one day, one day, we will defeat the fiends and bring back, bring us out of the dark age. Okay, so that's a tutorial where an ardent shroud, WSD moves you around, spacebar jumps, and you can sprint. So, uh, this is the interface for Eternal Dread. The notable difference from Eternal Dread 2 and 3 is that we can only have 4 skills. Eternal Dread 2 increased that to 5, and Eternal Dread 3 increased that to 8. We open our menu. So, uh, this is our stat screen. So, this game, which I believe is the only game here, you have levels, and you have assignable stats. And this tells you how much damage you can take from elements, as well as the resistance to status effects. And this is your stats. So yeah, this game was the this was the only game to have levels, which Eternal Dread 2 would do away with levels, but Eternal Dread 3 would return these. So these are the items, but so far we have no items. This is our equipment. We only have an iron sword. Q, which is your equipment. These are your skills. Yeah, there's also skill points that you could find in the field, like in Toronto Red 2. And the quests are to side quests. This is how you quit the game. You use this save.
So when you hit save points, that increases your own. It restores your health. I think I'll buy a wood staff. So we can use the magic. Okay. Let's see, now we have 22. And that's the waypoint of the map. I believe there's like only 12. I think there's like, um, I believe there is like, uh, 16 travel points. See over there are the four Elder Fiends, the castles. And we only have the Warriors Camp. South of there is this area we saw on the tile screen, but going there, I think a good Enza will appear and will kill you if you try to go there. So, this is Carla. Welcome to our guild, lass. I say you got there, but are you sure? I wouldn't advise you to keep it long. It could be a disadvantage, you know. Oh well, your wish. I'm not even sure I'm going to see tomorrow. See tomorrow myself, so I pretend I didn't see it. Anyway, we don't really encourage girls on the fight against humans, but like we have a choice. We human are already running low in mongrels. Yeah, I should say humans. The young and evil body are already made of fodder, and those left are just in are just the infants and the elderly. No way in hells are they going to make a soldier. Getting rid of the four elephants must be the only path to salvation. I can keep training, right? Never mind that. Even our strongest men bear survival day. Right now, our first priority protects sanctuary camps across the land. Maybe Santa will be lucky to have a hero that can lead a specter, maybe. So let's see what you got. Think of this as an examination. So north for the camp are fiend mushrooms. They're rather perfect excuse of a monster, but don't get cocky. They can overwhelm you if you're not careful. Want to go out there and pluck out maybe 10 of them. Let's see if you're up to this ass. You wouldn't go any further if you fell anyway. Watch out for the poison. Uh, no description there, but Carla wants us to, um... Yeah, that's, a uh, Beyond. Okay, this is Beyond, though. Hey, girl, how did you regret your choice to wish to walk a different kind of skill? I can help you recite that. I think that's Beyond. Doesn't say so. Okay. You can attack by using the left mouse button. Attack will be different for each weapon. Lock and attack with right click. Zoom stamina. Like, what? Bow, however, cannot be used for an attack. Double tap WSD or press WSDB to do dodge rules before attacks. Upon level up, you can attribute points to different attributes pressing C. Use the skill set by saying press 4. And turns the video map on, but there's no full map, like in terms of 2 and 3. Upon level up, you can distribute points of different skill. And it use consumable pressing F1 and F8. Use to switch your weapons, which I mentioned. Anyway, our task is to defeat the mushroom. So, up there is the KA. There we go, mushroom. That's a goblin. Up here's a treasure chest. We got an ether. I ever. It ever it restores. Now it doesn't there is no bumber like on the on the quick item. Like there's internal drug two and three, but evers restore 100 MP. Very useful if you do a magic build. Oh yeah, the bottom right is our MP. We have like 75 and we have like 305 health. There. Yeah. I bet what I like to do is something called strafing. Is where you strafe around enemies. Yeah. 
Ow. Yeah, they can sometimes knock it down. But it's easy to avoid their attacks. God. Yeah, as Karma mentioned, they can poison you. And so we did level up. So we go to our skills. I'm probably gonna get poison, because that's probably very useful. Our status is gonna increase our intelligence by two. Vitality by one. I think extra We have like six. There's no objective like indicator like there is in front of a two. But you can use J anytime. Got four. That red bottle is a health potion. They restore 200 HP. Yeah, so far we need one more feed mushroom. Yeah, not enough MP. Yeah, they had a T there. I believe that typo also exists in Eternal Dread 3. Okay, let's go back to Carla. It's a goblin. I don't think I've ever shown you. So this is poison. And we leveled up. There we go. Uh, these are the random eyes. I don't believe they um, are used for anything. I wonder why we're so low armed. Well, I'm curious about it. But to be honest, I realize we gotta do what with little we have. Both of them aren't usually kind of a do in these parts. It's a shame we're living in a difficult time. We can't afford to be fascist cautious like back in the capital. I think I'll show you. Aim up. Yeah, so that raises your MP. Not bad for it first. You got potential, you know. I didn't expect you to come back one piece while I'm clean. You're not going to believe this, but so many failed to keep my wearing got coffee. You're not gonna believe. Okay, I think there's some sort of bug. As I said, it's in her twice. 200 G and 50 EXP. So if they can't business quality, nowadays it's infested by goblins. These rapid creatures always sent to radio can't get the girls, killing trainees. Only risky can't get girls. Don't run a though. Alone, they're nothing like a nuisance. To get her, however, to be born and capable of taking down even most season of warriors. I guess our goal is to go to Squalid Den. I think I'll say by progress to Den. We'll do the next part where we tackle the Den.
And this will begin the actual gameplay. Anyways, I'll see you later. Let's play Eternal Dread.